to right. you. Go. Okay. Andrew's fabulous for you to be on the line here. Uh, for people that don't know, I'm Mark Jeffrey. I founded Between the White Lines as a sort of a global event. And Andrew, we have here that is founded the Between the White Lines in Australia. So welcome, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. It's a privilege to be part of the team. Thank you so much, really, for taking the baton on, because it really takes something to bump start a bandwagon. Everybody else wants to jump on a moving one, which I understand. But there's a particular type of tennispreneur that creates it from nothing. So just from me to you, heartfelt thank you. Um, why are you doing it, first of all? Why, why is the need for Between the White Lines in Australia to help build tennis, postcode by postcode? After hearing your first message between the white lines, your, your first summit, uh, I was inspired to say, all right, well, we can take the baton, we can continue this and the ball's in our court and we will have an Aussie flavour and continue on uh, your good work. It, so you've definitely inspired me and that um, has nearly jumped onto a few other people who are also inspired to assist, which is good. Great. So it's all about recruiting, retaining and returning laps tennis players. Um, and we've got, as you know, a number of international people that have done just that. And no doubt you would have found people in Australia doing just the same thing. As, as soon as we started to talk, all these people had a common bond and we got together. And this is where the mateship of Australia, like we, we have created a team. And we're ready to go. Um, it was great. Your first followers, Ryan Henrahan, uh, Courtney Smith. There's a whole lot of players who you hit a nerve and they've stepped up to the mark now. And Australians no longer in Australia, but plying their craft elsewhere in the world, I gather. Yes, we've got some excellent speakers from all different countries. And as soon as I told them what the plan was, uh, their videos are ready for the next summit. So I'm looking forward to that. Aussies unite. It, it is. It, it's great. And, and why you? Because you're a busy boy. You're a successful. You've got many other things to do. Why did you want to do this with no recompense, just spending time, energy and cash yourself? It, it's funny. They say if you want something done, give it to a busy person. And I've allocated my times quite well. But one of our specialties is creating teams. So we've got the team ready to go and we're ready to start the Between the White Line Summit Australia on the 12th of March, uh, 21. And it's right after the Australian Open. So I've got some really good content from past legends and hopefully that will get out there to the people and we'll share some really good ideas to make tennis better. Okay, what... What can you give us some little inside little secrets as to what some of the speakers will be presenting on? Yes, our, our theme for the summit in Australia was influencers and innovators. So influencers, we've got Margaret Court, uh, probably one of the best players ever in the world, uh, talking on her tennis prowess. Uh, we've got David Bailey, one of the world's specialists on footwork. So all these people coming together uh, I've taken some presidents from different coaching groups and just listening to their story and how they built it and so we continue on their good work as well like good education is is great uh, I work with AATC and I'm the education officer and if we can get the message out a positive message we can inspire so many new coaches okay um, and what is the current situation with tennis courts in Australia at whatever you call them, county or district levels. Now, we have councils, and councils okay. own the land in our local regions. And the idea behind that is to uh, activate councils with these local areas. So then we activate people in the local community to work on a tennis court. Now, some of the ideas that you'll see from the summit will be a tennis court is not just a tennis court. We can do many things. It's a meeting place. And that's where we can really focus on increasing grassroots and getting more players on to play tennis, which would be good. A, a meeting place as well as a competitive arena is a great, great, great idea. Yes, as, as they go up the ladder, the challenges get harder and my um, 
video for yourself with the winning summit was on challenge. So it's always just turning up the heat a little bit more to challenge their skills and make them a better person of themselves. Just fantastic. Because if parents have a choice, where am I going to show for my offspring to what sport? But if they knew there was a semi-formal structure in tennis to train their children to be the best version of themselves, you would think they would go, we're, we're taking you to tennis, little Johnny. And what a, what a great journey. Um, in, in our experience, what we find is we do multi-sport. We look at schools. In fact, the STARS program, which you can see on the top, uh, stands for School, Talent, Area, Region, State. And the idea is to look wide and nearly focusing on athletic ability and then turning it into tennis ability. And there's a very big part on the mental game and, and attitude and things like that. So it all comes together where tennis is an experience of life. Okay. And, and last question for you. So it lasts for a day. It's a transformative day. I, this could be a watershed in tennis coaches' uh, activities. How, how do you, what do you think they'll get out of it? How do you think their lives on court or as a business will change? The website that we've created has a whole lot of videos, audios, and information. And when the participant joins in, that could be a parent, could be a coach, could be a student. And the idea is it's their journey and they can choose what is of interest. Uh, they might find that they're busy and everything's on hold. And on the way home in the train, they can just touch a button and the video is ready on the topic that they would like. Uh, what we'll do is through our Facebook, they'll have a open channel to talk with people like yourself, Mark, and ask the presenters questions on um, uh, uh, something that might not even be in the video, but it actually opens up a whole new uh, pathway for them. So the idea is that there's that interaction, but it's very personalised. It's a very unique sort of pathway for anyone to be part of. And we're looking forward to launching that on the 12th, 12th of March. Amazing, Andrew, amazing. And uh, once I finish, I'm ready to, uh, as you said, I, I see the between the white lines as a tennis court, but two lines is also a, uh, a running track. So the baton's with me at the moment, and I'm looking forward to pass it on to the next inspirational person out there to keep on your good work. Fan, I'm so excited. I look forward to being there myself. Thanks for taking up the baton, Andrew. Just amazing work. Thank you. Thanks again. Look forward to it. And everyone, join in. Have fun.